Hi everybody, this is Nathan Ware with Rain Networks and today we're going to do part three of our video series on our ESET cloud security platform. In part one of our video series we talked about making groups and then making custom agents for our computers that will make the computers report back to our custom groups. In part two we talked about how now that we have agents loaded on our computers we can actually push out our endpoint security software to those computers and here in part three, what we're going to talk about is how to make custom policies for our computers so that we can dictate the security settings that we want those computers to have. It's very easy to do. And so let's uh, zoom in and take a look at what it's like to make custom policies for our computers. So here's our uh, computer browser here. We can uh, see all the groups that we've made uh, inside our, our groups. We have uh, different computers in here. And so let's say we want to uh, set some policies here. You see that I have a, a test company called ABC Manufacturing, and then I even made some subgroups here, um, one for accounting, one for executive, and one for sales, with the thought in mind that I may want the policies for the sales team to be different than, say, the policy that I put on the executives. Okay, so let's say we want to create a policy here uh, for the executives. I can click on the gear just to the right of the executive group and I can click manage policies. Then down here at the bottom I have a couple different options. I have one option uh, to add a policy. This would be if I wanted to um, add a pre-existing policy. So here is my uh, different groups, uh, all my policies here that are currently in my console. If I wanted to create a custom policy though, I could click this create and add policy and I'm now into the policy builder. So I'm going to um, call this ABC Manufacturing Execs. All right, and then I'm going to go into settings here and this is where I can actually dictate what I want my policy to be. So I click on settings. It's going to give me a little drop down. It's going to say, what do you want to make a policy for? In this case, ESET security product for Windows, just a base policy for the standard endpoint product. Okay, and then this interface here will look very familiar to you. If you've opened up the, the client that runs on your computer, uh, this is the exact interface you get. It's one of the best parts of ESET and how they do this is that the policy creation that you do in the remote administrator is identical to the policy that you create on the endpoint. So it's not like you have to learn two separate interfaces, it's all the same interface. So from here, I can go in and start making edits to my policy. So here's the antivirus section. If I wanted to make some uh, file exclusions, I could click on the edit box here next to exclusions, click add, and then put in whatever path I want. So, you know, whatever, C colon, you know, program files, et cetera, et cetera. I won't put one in there, but I think you get the point. So that's where I can make um, file exclusion um, exceptions. Uh, if I go down in here to firewall, obviously this is where I make, you know, custom uh, firewall rules. For example, I could turn the firewall on and off or, you know, here's my rule section here. If I wanted to say make a, uh, let's say I wanted to allow, you know, RDP or VPN or ping or something like that, I can go in here and, um, you know, put some of that stuff in here as exceptions. So pretty pretty cool how they do this. Device control, this is where you can make policies on, you know, let's say I wanna block thumb drives on my computers. I can come in here and do that. Web and email, this is pretty neat stuff in here. Uh, under web control here, under web and email, this is where you can filter websites. A lot of people don't, don't even know this exists in the ESET product. Um, you click on integrate into system here, and then you can come in here and make rules. Like let's say I wanted to, you know, block, you know, sports sites or something like that. So I could go, you know, whoops, block sports. Okay. And then the, it's going to be a category based rule and I'm going to block it. And then the category. So see this huge list of categories in here. This is amazing. A lot of people don't, again, don't even know this is in here. Um, you know, there's, let's see, there's sports right there. Right. So that's how I would make a rule to block any website that's a sports related website. So anyways, this is uh, just some general stuff you can do inside the policy builder. It's very powerful and um, you can have as many policies as you want. So you can have different policies for different computers, different policies for different groups. However, it's logical for you to lay this out. And then down here under the assign section. So this is where we say, 
where do we want this policy to be? Now, I had made this policy specifically on my ABC manufacturing executive group, so you'll see that that's already there. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and discard that, but I just wanted to show you how you can create a policy directly for a group. I can do that at any level. So if I wanted to make a policy for all of my ABC manufacturing, I can click manage policies just to the right here of the base group. And I have that same option on any of my other groups here. I can even do computers at the policy level. So I get that same option when I click on a computer, there's manage policy. So if I wanna make a custom policy just for that computer, I can get into that same policy management interface and do the same thing. And just so you know where your policies actually live, they live in the admin section here. So in the briefcase, there's policies, and here's all of your policies right here. And if you need to edit them, you know, very easy. You can just go to the policy just to the right, click edit, and then you can go in and edit that policy on the fly. The next time the computers check in that have this policy, they will then get your new edits. So anyways, that's just a little bit how to edit policies and make policies and assign policies with the ESET Remote Administrator. As you can see, it's very simple using the Manage Policies option um, either on the computer or on the group. Okay, thanks a lot for joining us. We'll be back with uh, further videos here on the ESET Remote Administrator console. Just uh, keep tabs on our YouTube channel for more. Thanks a lot.